What's up guys, it's Mystic coming to you guys with yet another YouTube video. Now today I want to talk about something a bit different. Talk about some tech news. AMD released some news a couple days ago on their new graphics card, the RX 480. Now it's going to be based on the new Polaris architecture. It's going to be on your brand new 14 nanometer transistor FinFET process higher performance and a lower TDP. All of that is important, but the important discussion of this video is should the consumer wait? Is this card important or not? Normally, I would even recommend if you see a good deal, go for a current graphics card. If you see just one of those new egg flash deals, sometimes you can't pass them up. However, these new graphics cards that are coming out from Nvidia and AMD, they're a graphical leap in performance. They really are. It's hard for me to recommend not waiting when so much performance is going to be packed at a such low price like the RX 480, which they're pricing at $199, 200 bucks. Now let's say third party vendors make their own design and it could go up to, you know, maybe 240 or 250. That's still a very good price for what they're claiming this card can perform. Based on some of the, the speculation out there that it's going to be somewhere between the 380 or the 390. In between there somewhere close to the GTX 970 performance. It could go up, it could go down. However, for the price, it is going to be a very, very good deal, especially if it outperforms the 970. If it's closer to the 390, it's going to be a very hard deal to pass up and it's going to be very hard for me to say go for a different graphics card or current generation if you see a deal. Now we got to think the early adopters of 4K and VR because if it wasn't for them, this graphical increase, this graphical leap in performance and, you know, the industry moving forward that we wouldn't even see these graphics cards right now. These companies know that 4K and VR are going to become mainstream down the line. It's their job to earn the money in our pockets and our wallets and competition is very healthy and a good thing for us as consumers because it keeps costs low and it keeps us happy. Is this card going to perform VR the way AMD claims it is? Hopefully it does. However, that's not the important thing or not the only thing that this graphics card is going to be able to do. Now, if it just is an entry level to VR, that's great. However, if it can deliver us 1440p with free sync, that would be absolutely amazing for $200. Imagine that. If the R9 390 can play at 1440p and this card will be able to pretty much perform almost as its equal or close to its equal at $200, it would increase the sales in FreeSync monitors, it would be increased sales for 1440p, better performance, a better graphical experience for us as consumers for only $200. I mean that is amazing. This is why I have not made any new build videos because anything above five to six hundred dollar gaming PC builds at this point is going to be obsolete with any of the graphics cards that is not the RX 480, the GTX 1070 or the GTX 1080 because you have to get these cards for the graphical horsepower that they're going to deliver. It, it makes absolutely no sense to buy a 970 or a 380 or a 980 at the current price points because these cards are going to these new cards are going to blow them out of the water. What should you do? I would recommend waiting. It's a very special time for graphical performance. It's a very special time for a leap in in just gaming in general. And I think, you know, this is where it starts. 4K and VR are the early adopters. Then everyone will mainstream it onto the regular PCs and it's going to become more affordable for us as PC gamers. And eventually even console gamers will be able to get them. It's, it's thanks to that to that process that, you know, everyone's going to be able to enjoy the, all these, you know, these new features down the line. And like I said, at this point, I would wait at least wait until some of the benchmarks, official benchmarks come out for the RX 480. At that point, we can make a judgment on whether or not it's going to be a, a smart choice to include it in some of the budget build videos, but I think it will. I'm, I'm actually confident. I have a actually a pretty good feeling that this card will perform pretty close to where AMD claims it will. Anyways guys, let me know what you think of the new announcement. Let me know what you guys think about the new graphics card. Are you excited? Do you think I'm right in, the, in my claims? Do you think the RX 
480 will deliver. Do you guys agree with me that, that these new graphics cards, this new FinFed process, the 14 nanometer, and then pushing for these, these new art architectures and pushing for 4K and VR, that that's helping the industry as a whole, not just for those industries, for the regular consumer that's going to play at 1440p or even at 1080p max settings and not have to pay three, four hundred bucks to be able to enjoy those smooth game experiences above 100 frames per second. Let me know what you guys think. As always, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Mystic and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We can lock up the dark.